Hi, and welcome to the 10-minute video summary of the message that was shared at Henrietta Christian Fellowship on the 1st of July, 2018. My name is Don Bolt. I'm the pastor of the church, and for the next about 10 minutes, I'd like to share with you some of the highlights of the Sunday's message. And uh, we're doing a, a message just entitled, God Does Not Grow Weary, and So We Should Call Upon Him. Uh, 1 Peter 4, 7 through 11, the end of all things is near, therefore be of sound judgment and sober of spirit uh, for the purpose of prayer. Above all, keep fervent in your love for one another because love covers a multitude of sins. And we spent some time with that on Sunday morning. Be hospitable to one another without complaint. That's very important, without complaint. As each one has received a special gift, employ it in serving one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Every one of us has one. Whoever speaks is to do so as one who is speaking the utterances of God. Whoever serves, listen to this, is to do so as one who is serving by the strength which God supplies. So often we find ourselves working out of our own strength when really God's intention is that we would work out of the strength that he supplies. So that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ to whom belongs the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so we grow weary, all right, but, but God does not, all right, that, uh, that we are uh, in a time right now where uh, serving him uh, sometimes can seem difficult. We're busy, you know, and there's so much confusion in the country, but, uh, but we're to do this uh, calling upon the one who does not grow weary. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31 says this, do you not know, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, creator of the ends of the earth, does not become weary or tired, all right? His understanding is inscrutable. In other words, we could never really take it all in. He gives strength to the weary, and to him who lacks might, he increases power. Though youths grow weary and tired, and vigorous young men stumble badly, yet those who wait, and that, that word wait means, you know, you're, 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 you know God, you're, you're waiting for the help of God, you're waiting for the strength of God, uh, and, and so you're expecting it, okay? It's not like you're waiting, like, oh, you know, I wonder if it'll ever come. No, you are anxiously seeking it and, and believing for it to, to come, the strength of the Lord. It says that those people will mount up with wings like eagles. Eagles uh, apparently are, uh, at least legendarily so, uh, they, they, they just constantly are renewing their feathers, uh, you know, all the way through their old age, and so they always look sleek and young. It says, they'll mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not become weary. And so, you know, how are we going to do this? Well, receiving a word of encouragement from God and then speaking God's grace to one another uh, in the right season is, is key to it. Isaiah 50 verse 4 says, The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. Okay, so God gives us a word to, to, to build us up when we're feeling weary. And with that word, he, he gives the, the, the working of his Holy Spirit in us to, to cause us to have the strength that we need. All right, but then he, he gives us, if we will seek him for it, uh, the tongue of the learned. You know, we practice this. You know, get your mouth moving uh, to speak words of encouragement to one another and, and, and seek God for that uh, tongue of the learned to be able to, to give that word of encouragement uh, to the person who needs it uh, in the right season. It says that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. Jesus gave a word concerning the weary. He said, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, okay? So Jesus, his word to the weary was not go on a vacation, okay? God's, you know, his word, word to the weary was come find your rest under a pleasant uh, and good yoke. All right, the one that was from him, he says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. All right, and it's not light because there's not much to it. It's light because he provides the strength. And then the, the humble, devoted, uh, obedient person, seemingly insignificant act. All right, uh, you know, it, it, I was at the uh, scrapyard the other day, turning in some scrap for a fundraiser that we're doing. And, uh, you know, there was this, this woman at the, at the desk uh, who was uh, doing the cash outs, and she just looked like she was in pain. I told her she looked like she needed a day off, and she said she had this terrible headache. And before I left, I just put my hand on the glass and just said, uh, your, your headache be healed in Jesus' name. Uh, the guy behind me said, are you a pastor? And, uh, and kind of it just kind of went from there. You know, that, that thing of just having that word at the right moment and just allowing God to, to use it. Uh, you know, that you might think of it as just an insignificant thing, just as some small thing. Uh, but God uh, may have some long line of things that he's doing, and that insignificant seeming thing to you may be very significant in what he's trying to accomplish. Uh, because 1 Corinthians 3, 6 through 15 says that I planted, meaning Paul planted, he says, Apollos water, but it was God causing the growth. So then neither 
the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but God who causes the growth. And it goes on in verse 9 say, for we are God's fellow workers. What a wonderful place to be, to be in a place where I'm working with God. I am working at the things that God is trying to do. Thy will be done, all right, is a statement that I make. And then I go about to be submitted to him and be a fellow worker with him to see it done. You know, no man can lay any other foundation other than the one which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. It's over in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 again. And, uh, and it talks about how that, um, that the, a day is coming when every man's work is going to become evident because the day is going to show it because it's going to be revealed by fire. And it says that, you know, we ought to be building in our lives with uh, uh, gold and silver and precious stones. Those precious stones are building stones, okay? And, uh, and it says that uh, we also build with wood, hay, and, 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 uh, and straw, uh, but the wood, hay, and straw are all going to be burned up. You know, the things that we just did for ourselves and that sort of thing, the practicalities of life, oftentimes those are the things that really serve no eternal purpose. But we know that mixed into that are these things that have eternal weight and purpose, and we need to devote ourselves to those things because every one that says will receive a reward but there's two ways to receive the reward one is told to us in, in second peter chapter one it says we'll receive an abundant entrance into the everlasting kingdom of our lord and savior jesus christ the other one is described for us here in chapter three of first corinthians and it says we'll be saved yet like a person escaping from the flames and so don't let weariness rob you each will receive the reward now galatians 6 7 tells us that, uh, that don't be deceived god is not mocked whatever man sows he'll also reap and in verse 9 says let us not lose heart in doing good, for in due season we will reap if we don't grow weary. And 2 Thessalonians 3.13 says the same, do not grow weary of doing good. But the reason for persevering is from the Lord, the reward is from the Lord. Again, 2 Peter 1, 8 through 11 tells us that, uh, they, that if we do the things that God is calling us to do, they render us that we will neither be useless nor unfruitful in the, in the true knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and that in so doing, in pursuing life this way, uh, that it's in this way, the entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be abundantly supplied to you. All right? And the special gift is from the Lord. You know, that, that, that special gift that God gave every single one. It says, each of you, each one has received a special gift, a charisma uh, to employ in serving one another. Right? So, so let, let's be busy about that, that, that whole serving one another, giving each other that encouragement out of the weariness and blessing and prayer. Prayer and and just to be you know functioning this way as his body all right the strength to persevere is from the Lord whoever speaks is to do so is, is receiving what they need from the Lord okay the eyes of the Lord are, are ranging to and fro throughout the whole earth to find the person whose heart is, is completely his so that he can show himself strong on their behalf okay and that's what God is calling us to our obedience and sacrifice are significant because they glorify him you know, you know, we may not necessarily always understand uh, the, uh, the significance of what we're doing, but God does. So let us not lose heart in doing good, for in due time we will reap if we don't grow weary. And with that, I'm going to say God bless you, and we'll see you next time on the 10-minute video summary.